name is Jen Langton and I am a presenter for Wake Life TV and uh, I've been dragged in to attempt to learn to kiteboard so today is the, uh, the, first, the first lesson and we're down in St Kilda, the weather is beautiful and I'm going to give it a whirl. Now my first memory of kiteboarding was when I was nine and I got the kite wrapped around a barbed wire fence about nine paddocks away from where I started so uh, this could be interesting to say the least. I am Jennifer, I'm here for the kiteboarding. Hey Jen, I'm James, we were expecting you. Thanks yeah, cool. For down. No worries. Uh, well, what we do, Jen, we do our briefing in the store and we'll go through on the computer some of the wind sites to uh, go through the right conditions when you're first getting into the sport yeah, so cool. that it's nice and safe. And one of our head instructors, Chris, will take you to that. He's down on the other desk there and he'll get started in here and then we'll go outside to the shed and he'll talk you through some of the equipment and then we'll head to the beach and start with a small trainer kite which is about two square metres and you have a lot of fun and then if, um, if the wind picks up a little bit we can get you onto a bigger kite at the moment it's a bit light but we'll hopefully the day will improve. What we're going to do is we're just going to lay this kite out downwind of us here. Now I'm just placing a little bit of sand along the back edge or the trailing edge. Um, this is good, I can definitely deal with the size kite perhaps we're actually about to see but um, if I can get my skills dealing with this one all right then we can move up to the um the big gun kite but no so far so good all righty so as you can see here this is sort of our control bar yeah now super super nice and simple this is a lot more simple than uh what we're going to look at later on during yeah. our lessons um so there's not too much going on here you see we've got two lines on each end now you'll notice that this bar is color coded so there's red on the left yeah and blue on the right here Basic kite control, and this is sort of the key sort of thing we want to develop for you today or start developing, is that we've got a control bar here. Now, all we need to worry about with this kite is steering it left yep. and right, basically. So, if we want the kite to go right, we're pulling it on our right hand. If we want it to go left, we're pulling it on our yeah. left hand. Now, it's best described to most people as sort of a handlebar style movement on a bike, yep. as opposed to a steering wheel on a car. So, as you can see here, if I'm sort of treating it like a steering wheel, I'm not changing the length of these lines at all, mm -hmm. so the kite won't actually respond to that. It's this in and out style movement that the kite's going to respond to there. All right, note to self, just like your pink BMX. Yep. All right, are you ready to give it a go? Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> The more aggressive you are with the bar down here, the greater angle you make, you make you, the tighter you get the kite to sort right. of turn. What I want you to aim for is a nice sort of tight figure of eight in that power zone there. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave you with this for a little while. I'm going to get you to master that and then we're going to move you on to the big boys kites. Alright, me and you kite. To, uh the sandy part. I got my work cut out for me, I think. Alright, so I have um, sort of mastered the art of the baby kite, and uh, next stop's gonna be. Okay, just as I thought I had mastered it, maybe not. A little bit more time. 